Well, Ukraine has said that talks on the war held in the Saudi city of Jeddah were productive. Envoys from nearly 40 countries, including China, the United States and India, met to discuss ways to find a peaceful settlement to the war. Kyiv aimed to build support for the restoration of its territory and the withdrawal of all Russian troops. Russia did not attend. So for more on these talks, we're joined now by DW's Amian Isif joining us from Kyiv. Amian, a positive signal there from Ukraine, but did any concrete results come out of these talks? Well, the short answer is no, no concrete results. Uh, both Saudi Arabia and Ukraine issued positive statements saying this was a successful Congress. Um, but as far as uh, concrete results, there was nothing specific in those press statements saying what they had achieved there. The more abstract progress that was made here is, of course, that China sent a representative. China was present at these talks. Now, this is the second Congress that Ukraine has organized uh, with uh, countries all over the world, including many, many neutral countries, countries that haven't really picked a side between Russia and Ukraine, including China, but also Brazil, which is another important player here. And China did not attend the first one. They have changed their mind on this somewhat. And Ukraine is seeing evidence here that they're melting China's heart on the issue of the Ukraine war. So for Ukraine, that was a big uh, coup here. And what about Russia? We know its representatives didn't attend. Um, do we have more information about what reaction there's been from Moscow? Well, there's a lot of bravado here. Um, foreign ministry spokesperson said that this was absurd nonsense to hold, quote unquote, peace talks without Russia at the table. Um, uh, Dmitry Peskov, who is the Kremlin spokesperson, said there is currently no grounds for agreement between Russia and Ukraine and that this war will continue for the foreseeable future. Uh, Dmitry Medvedev, who is the former president of Russia and a close confidant of Vladimir Putin, went even further and said that Ukraine needs to get on its knees and beg for mercy, which is quite absurd considering that the front line here is in a stalemate. Uh, and so Russia has issued a lot of these very aggressive statements. But what is interesting here is that they did ask to be briefed by Saudi Arabia on the results of these talks. So obviously a lot of interest when big actors like China and Brazil are meeting uh, with Ukraine behind Russia's back, essentially. And do you think in this meeting we saw Ukraine managing to get more support from countries in the global south? We definitely didn't see as much as Ukraine had hoped for uh, in a kind of blow to Ukraine on August 2nd, right before the Congress began. Mexico pulled out, did not send an envoy. AMLO, the president of Mexico, said that they would not attend talks unless Russia was president, uh, present. Uh, Brazil did send a representative, another big actor in the global south, major economy there. Um, they did send a representative. They were present at these talks. But during the talks, they said that any real discussion of peace in Ukraine would have to include both sides. Uh, that means including Russia. So a little bit disappointing for Ukraine there. But again, just bringing a lot of states to the table that Ukraine does not often get a chance to meet face to face with. Indonesia, Egypt, for example, large economies, huge populations who have been fairly neutral on the subject, um, who Ukraine is really hoping to win over. And these talks are part of a long term plan to bring uh, other countries into the fold and to join the allies that are supporting Ukraine against uh, the war of aggression uh, in their country. Well, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed there. That's DW's Amy Nassi. He's reporting from Kiev.